So if there's nothing more that I, that I would like to do is just say, look, let's <laughs> have no restrictions, no restrictions on bars. Uh, everybody go back to normal, but we're not back to normal. Uh, I can't look at these numbers um, and say that we should expand the time when people can be together, crowd together in a bar or in a restaurant. Because at a bar and a restaurant, by definition, you cannot wear a mask when you're drinking, and you cannot wear a or you, you cannot wear a mask when you're eating. So I, I I understand that we have people hurting, and I understand that we have great desire for people to go to a bar and, and root on the Buckeyes or root on the Browns. Um, but that would simply add to the spread that we already have, because you cannot do those activities. And look. Let me say this to my my friends in, in bar, bars and restaurants. It is not your fault that you have a business that you cannot wear a mask at. But that's the reality. I can't change that reality. And so while others were completely shutting restaurants down and completely shutting bars down, while we had doctors from the White House urge us to do this, we compromised and said, let's shut off at 10 o'clock. And, and frankly, that was a compromise. And what we've tried to do is balance people's need to make a living um, with public safety. Um, you know, I need the original slide, the data for today. Look, this is, this is why we can't do it. I mean, last week, 7,500 cases we had 104 deaths, 538 hospitalizations, 44 ICU admissions. We're seeing our numbers in our hospitals go, starting to go back up. Um, I'd love to do it. We can't do it. We just can't do it. We cannot add to the, to the problem. 